everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Double, and today I I have finally gotten my first thing from Amazon Vine. I don't know if you've heard of it. If you're on Amazon and you do a bunch of reviews, I guess they send you an invite to get product from them, and I like product. I ain't gonna lie. So I signed up for something. This is the Lakato guitar wall hanger and got it for free through Vine, full disclosure. Um, the company didn't send it to me. Nobody's paying me anything to say my thoughts about it. And uh, I'm gonna just check it out and unbox it here uh, and see what we got. And it's supposed to be able to hold one or three or five guitars, depending on how much space you want to take up on your wall. I think that's where it's going to end up if uh, I deem this suitable. One of the things I always worry about with uh, hanging stuff, hanging guitars, is the durability of the metal. So I want to just give a look at what we have and just make sure there's no funky welds anywhere or anything at like clutch points to make sure that it's going to hold a. 10 pound guitar so this is the hook and it's a slot system you can see there basically is going to go into a track at an angle and it's going to clip in like that and then you can change the angle of the of the actual hook to face left face right or however you want and it's tightened down so i guess that's what you get or you take it off um so let's see what this mounts to just take a quick look at that and you get five of these yeah five hooks one two three four five uh, instruction manual guy here okay we're gonna have a bag full of looks like connector pieces and end clips so depending on how big you're gonna make it if you want to just use one of the three sections you can pop these right in on the end and then there's a a tab system that goes in and locks them in place these pieces are plastic uh, and then these are going to connect the pieces together when you want to add they give you a whole bunch of anchors do not hang this right into drywall without using anchors and i'm even going to try to make sure that i find a couple of studs in the wall to securely mount some of these screws from that's the best way finding an actual two by four wall stud is the best way and uh, let's look at the actual mounting system here let's see what we got do i have it all we shall see these all mount to the wall and they're all pretty much the same it looks like pick which one is going to be your end one slide that into place there like that let's see does it go in gently it doesn't go in gently can i force it mm -hmm. maybe i'm going at the wrong spot i probably should read the instructions right that's why they give them to you <sighs> maybe i'm doing something wrong but man that doesn't feel like This shit doesn't feel like it's connecting. It's definitely not connecting. Oh, okay, now it's connecting. You gotta really push down there. And that thing still, yeah, now, now I can push it through. You really gotta push that down there. But, and then that helps lock it in place. So now it's not just gonna slide out. Okay, I see. I got you, Lakato. I got you. I get you. Fortunately, these connectors go in nice and easy so if i wanted to just use one piece instead of sliding this connector in i would just put another in there and then you would once you have it securely mounted to the wall see there's going to be four screw points for each one you're going to mount it this way through there into the walls and the studs or your anchors uh, and then this will go in like that and then go in like that so let me just give it a look here's your weld doesn't look bad right i mean it's connected there's a little bit of air on the side i can see light coming through 
But man, that's definitely sturdy. That's a sturdy guy. Let me check another one out just to make sure. And um, then I'm gonna start having to clear off some space on the wall and put this thing together. It looks like it's 51.5 inches across. It can hold one to five guitars, depending on how you want to set it up. Yeah, same kind of thing. Good, good bit of welding on each side, but just a little, little pinhole on each other side. But I mean, that's a solid weld and then it's been coated. So it's not like they welded coating. That's straight up, straight up welded and then coated. So that's a nice, that's a nice option. Um, I believe I even saw when I actually looked at this on the link that there was, this was discounted. I think there was a coupon going currently. Now here it is the beginning of September. I don't know how long that'll last. Let's just see how this goes together, how it's fitting. Yeah, okay, that snapped together real well. So this, my one end piece was a little funky. And, oh, and look what I did. I put Lakato upside down on one of them. If you're really going to be, there's a, there's a logo on it. If you're really going to be picky, you're going to want to match those up. But I just made one of them upside down. Oh, dude, I'll just fix that real quick. Because, yeah, my OCD will wake me up tonight and go, hey, you got to go fix that. Okay, now, much better. So that's that one. We'll do the final connector. So I've seen a couple of other companies that have this same thing, the same kind of assembly, and it looked the exact same, but it was about $40 more. So let's see, do I have the same shovel? And that, nope, now I'm gonna put the other end on. Let's see how this goes. And yeah, both end pieces, you gotta really smack in. That's it, hit that bad boy. Man, that's a long, that's long. So 51 and a half inches is what we're looking at here. And Mikado multi-hanger. You got to have that little, that little wing nut should be facing up. Wing nut up, arch up. And they give you these little rubbery guys on each one of these to help uh, if you have a smaller headstock to help keep it in place. It's like a guitar store kind of a display. So, but if you're going to do that, you got to hang it up properly because you're going to get five guitars on here. You do not want that falling, right? So here's what it looks like all assembled. They are a little floppy feeling, but once there's weight on the actual stand, it stays in place pretty well. If your neck is a little sticky, however, that rubber material that's around the, the guitar hooks will kind of grab it. So you do have to be pretty careful. I might want to do some something over it i don't know um and i doubt that that plastic is good for nitrocellulose so just something to consider and now what i'm doing here is i took a bunch of painters tape and i made a template on the back of the wall mounts all three of them after i put them together i then am able to take a sharpie and identify those holes and after that, I have a perfect template that I can put up on the wall. The other option would be to mount one, make sure it's level and straight. I used a level here in a second, you'll see once I got to the wall. But you really want this nice and straight, you want this nice and secure, nice and even. And after identifying all of the holes here, I was able to pull up all of the tape all at once and you know very carefully and i did leave those extra tabs see how i have extra cross tabs uh like that there in my hand i used those just so that i could identify where the actual screw holes were once i kind of started mounting the mounts to the wall uh the first thing i did was take this whole template so yeah there you can see i have very defined lines. I put the template on the wall where I knew I would have enough space for headstocks to reach up. And then I used a, a level to make sure that my points were pretty straight. It was pretty hard to get the tape exactly straight, but as long as I had uh, a good idea that I was nice and level at that point, uh, then I knew I was probably gonna be okay. Then I used a, a small box with some tape to just just kind of catch all the dust that was coming out. I put it under each one of these spots as I was setting uh, small holes for me to place the anchors into. The anchors that I ended up using 
were twist in anchor so all it needed was a small starting point and then it expanded into the drywall and got a very secure connection between the screws that actually used the screws provided with these uh, new anchors that I had picked up so it all in all it worked out really well I made sure that I had all of the anchor points located with a small starting hole and then placed a couple of screws right in the right spot so that I could hold it in place around all of the tape that I have there just so that it wouldn't move and so that my points were the exact same and then I was able to remove the pieces and take the tape off of the wall here make sure that everything was secure I knew that I had a stud in one spot, so I made sure to secure uh, two points to that one stud really well. I knew that I had that already because of where I had mounted a couple of already uh, a couple of previous guitar hooks. So I made sure that I took advantage of the studs that were in the wall. Any other place where it was just drywall, I used anchors, connected the mounts together. And then in time, I was able to get all of the screws in place and nice and secure. And of course, you always want to check level as you go and just really make sure that you're not stripping anything out. Make sure that nothing's turning too far. Don't over crank anything. If you, if you break one of the anchors, make sure you replace it with another one. You really want to make sure that you have a good, secure connection to your wall. They recommend you install this mount on concrete and what they give you is kind of concrete oriented stuff or wood mounting screws. So here's a look with a couple of guitars already in place. It really just helps give the whole area a little bit of more space and depth. I, I hope it looks good on camera once I start doing some more videos. I've had it up now for a whole week. Nothing has moved. Everything is in place. I think my only real complaints would be like fender headstocks. The, the hooks for the guitars don't kind of shift. They're always straight. So, you know, a fender headstock kind of wants to have a little bit of an angle, especially those tele headstocks. Oh, and they look great with the lights out and all the special lighting. But uh, your three by three headstocks, anything that's kind of standard, it really works out well. It holds all the guitars that I have just fine. I was a little nervous about the telly. I did put a telly up there, and you do want to make sure that you use these little rubber stoppers, especially if you're up high in the air. But I've had this up on the wall now for you know a number of days, and I have really had no problems. I haven't walked in and had all my guitars down on the ground, on the floor, or anything like that. Thank goodness. So, Lakato five guitar wall mount. Pretty cool little item to have in your space. It helps really tie the room together, you know what I mean? That's how I feel, at least. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching the video. Lakato and Amazon, thanks for sending this on. I guess Amazon, really, but Lakato, this is pretty cool. I um, would like to see maybe better rubber some sort of better material on the the actual guitar holders that's all i would really say and maybe um maybe some way that you could change the angle of the guitar holder because it just kind of wants to give way a little little it doesn't quite grab the fender headstocks quite the way i like I did notice some of the more expensive ones do have that option, but for this price range, especially right now, this thing being on sale, if you have some skills and aren't afraid to anchor into your wall and you have a nice space, this is a decent little five guitar wall mount holder. Thanks for watching.